Okay, so Julie sent me the file that she's been working with and trying to mirror over, and there's a, a couple different things from what I'd shown. I'd shown a simple graphic before. This one's a little bit more complex in that it has a, a design, some contour to it, a text, a whole bunch of other objects in there, and some of it needs to be mirrored and some of it doesn't. So I'm going to take the two designs she sent and kind of see if we can outline and look what she's really trying to do with this. So first off, I've got the design here. I'll select all of it with my marquee tool and um, I'm going to make a copy of it so I'll drag it up while holding the shift key keep it all uh, in, in uh, alignment with the other and right click and now I've got a copy of it now I'm only going to mirror the portions that I want um, so this portion in here with the, the lettering and stuff let's keep that by itself uh, so you can see I've just selected the lettering and everything there we don't need to mirror that because it needs to read correctly uh, later on in the design. So I'm going to group that together and then I'll take everything else that's in here. Let's see if I can select everything else here. Draw a marquee tool around that and I'll hold down the shift and I'll select that lettering so now that's not selected anymore. It's just everything else there and you can see in my object manager it got everything except for that text and everything. So this portion I'll use the horizontal mirror. Oh, I grabbed part of it there didn't I? So let's try that again. This may be a little trickier than I thought. So let's grab it all. Hold down shift and drag. And it looks like I'm just dropping out that one line there and that's not what I wanted. So let's take this portion here. That's all my lettering. And we'll do a slightly different. I'll right click on it and I'll lock that object. So now when I select, I won't be selecting that portion. So I select everything here. Mirror it so it's all mirrored there and then I'll right click and unlock that portion there and I can drag that to where I need it maybe right over in here and I know the text is different than what Julie had before uh, when she's looking at this I didn't have the font that she had so it's a little bit different in there but you can see how now I kept everything reading the correct way but I've mirrored the rest of the design so that's one of the two designs she sent and let's see if we can get the other one here Not that one, not that one. Let's minimize some of these. Sorry about having all these up here, folks. I get tons of stuff sent to me. Well, and now I'm reopening the same stuff I just minimized. No, not that one. Not that guy. There's the one we just worked with. Ah, here we go, go-kart side one. So here's the second design, just like the, the first one where we've got the lettering and everything. So what I'll do in this one is I'll take the that lettering there and these two pieces of lettering, make sure that that's what I've got and what I want. It looks like I selected something else. So let's just get the lettering, that lettering there and this lettering here and this portion here. And I always drag it to side, yep, I've got what I want. So we'll put that back and we can either group it or um, let's let's group this one here or I can could use control G so I've got that all selected again I'll select everything left click and drag up while holding the shift key and then right click and I've made a copy of it now I don't want to copy the or flip the lettering and everything so I'll right click on this and I'm going to lock it and this one's a little bit more complex because we've got to adjust a couple things over so now I'll take this and mirror it and we've got the lettering and everything here that's locked I'll right click and unlock that and now we can adjust some of it so this lettering here uh, let's see which we've got that's all three objects so we'll put that back we want to ungroup those and now I can move around the, the lettering we'll lock these two together say and move it over a little bit zoom in on this so we can find out where we want it so maybe I'll move it over to about here and I've got to move it up just a little bit because it's too close to the bottom there and then I can take the top portion the barrier apart maybe and while holding the shift key as I start to drag it I can keep it over there and then take the 80 here and we'll drag that guy over so it's behind all of that oh, and what's in front of this portion here so maybe we can just uh, arrange it and we can put it to behind and we'll select that lettering right there and now it's behind that so you could shift this around and maybe she wants the barra over here or whatever but you can see how we've mirrored different portions of it the the main design here but not the lettering and everything else so hopefully this will help out and is uh... what julie is looking for thanks for watching